Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of our isolated city here in City Skylines. Now, last episode guys, we kind of started to add some peeps and some population around our brand new airport. We kind of saw the add a bit because the arrivals and departures are a little bit kind of confusing and twisted. I honestly feel like the arrivals is kind of broken because maybe I unhooked the road. But it's quite a big epic to delete it and replace it back in because of the way the airport is set up. But for now, it works. I might fix it in the future. We'll see what happens. Today, I want to add in uh, two brand new city parks. These are going to be ways in which we start to earn more revenue and kind of pay for all the infrastructure we added in recently with the airport and the brand new transportation links to the airport too. It's very expensive to maintain and upkeep, so we need to get some more money rocking and rolling into our isolated city right now. So as always, guys, if you do enjoy this, please smash that like button down below. If you are new around here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when the next episode does come out. But we're back, boys. We are here. And this is what we got set up last episode. Now today... Within this vicinity here, this little section, I want to build our city park. Uh, I'm going to add some schools around it, which kind of tricks the uh, the citizens into walking into the park to go to school, which then generates me cash money moolah. And then we'll try and build some more population up and around it. And I also want to build uh, our city park just here too. Because you only have one, which is over here, Matt Dixon Park right now, making 4,000 big ones every uh, week right now, which is pretty good. Gotta get one in here, which is going to be really, really... Uh, kind of effective because we have shops all around it so pedestrians will walk through it to get to and from which is really exciting as well and they will both hopefully generate us a big chunk of cash so we'll take a look at this one first we'll start with this one so if i jump into our park situation now this is the best i always find this is the best way to make money is to build a city park put some schools kind of around it and then from that point uh, put a little bit of commercial, make it so you, you're you forcing your, well I won't say forcing, but you're making your citizens technically walk through it to get to where they need to get to, which is kind of interesting. Now if I bring up the, uh, the park section here, and I'll just quickly go around right now so I can add in all the little side gates. I ain't too fussed about, you know, how it's all spread out. Uh, but we'll then get the side entrances all up and running. So we'll definitely have one here where that road intersects. Uh, we'll definitely have one... I mean, can I get one there? We're going to have a couple down here, by the way. So if I drop one there, one there, one there. And then we'll add in one, actually, just there. Very one there. So I'm doing these kind of like on the corner sections. It's a bit difficult to get one in here. We might have to anarchy one in. So let's just do one in the center there. And then do one there and there. So I'm giving us multiple entry points to this park. The more we do, the more walkable we're making the actual park itself. So I'm going to utilize the connection tool right now to go from here to here. Which if I can get this perfect, right? Because the whole thing is kind of like on a bend. So the more I can connect this up, the easier it's going to make us for these connections to go into it. As you can now see. Bam. Wa-bam. Wa-bam. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, mate. <laughs> and then we'll run from here up to there. And then bring that straight down. So that connects into there, that connects into there. And then we'll use the connection tool again. We will bring them together in the middle. Don't worry about that. But I'm trying to make it where I'm not destroying any of the zoning as, uh, uh, you know, around the edge as much as I can. So I'm actually going to bring this one like that. That seems reasonable. That's quite a cool little kind of setup, that is. Uh, get rid of you. So obviously that will connect in. Right, I want to try and get it smack bang on, so we'll come back to that in just a moment. Now, I wonder if it will be a good idea to have this go directly to there. And we'll go for that maximum bend again. And then we'll just have all the other paths kind of come off it and around it. So, let's get rid of you. So this... That is a six there, so I can actually kind of connect you into there. But at the same time, I feel like what I should first do is do the run of connection that's going to go around. Let me anarchy this. That's more straight and then into there. Wow, it's all deleting. What's going on? 
What is going on right now? It's all freaking deleting. So there. So bam. Bam. And I might have to use the move it tool slightly to kind of ever so slightly bend it. That was kind of awkward, wasn't it? Uh, and then we'll go from there to there. Which in reality, I could connect this to here. And then with the connection tool again, we'll do a nice little wiggle bend just there. Increase that radius slightly. So now everywhere is connected apart from this side. <laughs> Which this is kind of like a little bit of a pointless um, entrance, to be honest with you. But we'll do it like this and leave it like that. So we should have very, very good walkability right now to get anywhere you want to get to with inside of the park. We just need to add all the stuff inside of it to kind of eventually level it all up. So I'm going to add a couple of each one uh, kind of in right now. Just to kind of really bulk up the attractiveness of it. And just add as much as I can to it. I've uh, got no piers, so we can't really add any of those in. Uh, we've got the park cafes we can add in. That one just got completely messed up, didn't it? There we go. Uh, the info booths. We had one there and one just over here. And then... Where's the, where is it all? There it is. Uh, we'll get the gazebos in last. Because they're the stuff that we can really fill up the areas with. Uh, so let's add these in now. This is actually going to be quite a populated park, which is uh, quite exciting. So get Reese around the edge, and I'll add the last one in just there. So that's how the park do be looking. It does need power and water, and we'll add a lot more trees in uh, in just a moment to kind of really bulk it all out. But this is the exciting bit right now. What we then do is we add a couple of elementary schools around this. So I do a couple just there, and we'll do one over here. And then we add in a couple of high schools around the border as well. So we might have to... Actually, we'll just squeeze this one in. Hmm, how do I squeeze it in? Just there. It might. It's going to clip it, which I don't really want it to do that much. I'll just add it in here instead. So a couple of elementary schools, a couple of high schools, which still doesn't give us that ultimate capacity. But we're, we're forever getting a little bit closer. And run this now down. We go slightly diagonal and then go this way. So we kind of still keep into our grid in many ways. And then run this down. Bam. Bam. So get as much of this water zoning in as we possibly can. And we'll just do quickly do the top bit as well. And there's a bit just there as well. Kind of quickly grab. There we go. So power needs to be connected. And one way we can do that is also adding in more zoning. Now if I run some commercial just down here. And I'm going to filter a bit of commercial just here as well. Just little pockets of it. Just there and there. Which we can really create this walkable and shoppable district. We'll go low density residential here, leading all the way up right now. What will be easier if I can just do this? Now here, I wanted to actually do high density, but I'm going to whack a little high rise ban in. So I'll just quickly pause and I'll just go through all of this because I wanted to create some like kind of like beachfront properties, like apartment blocks that overlook, and I'm going to create like a really nice promenade, uh, kind of styly for this here. Which I think would be really, 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 really good. But I just want... To, that's a park thing, isn't it? Yeah. I just want to quickly add in this. And just drop a policy down real quick about a high-rise ban. So I don't want them too huge where they're, like, looking ridiculous. So high-rise ban. And then we'll just kind of keep it to that. So hopefully the... Power will spread over without me doing any electrical grids. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm hoping for. So while that does that, I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'll up the ticket price. It's got enough entertainment value to kind of level up a few times. This will eventually connect over and then the power will be up and running. 
while that happens, I'm going to take a quick look at this one. Now, this one's technically a little bit smaller than the other park that I just created. But it will be just as effective. So don't get me twisted here, boys. And just kind of cover this up. So it kind of covers the majority of it. Yes, it does. So we'll add a uh, couple of entrances just here on the ends of the runs of road. Uh, I'll add one there. Add one there. I'm going to throw one in the middle and throw one just here as well. Just kind of add it all in. Now, I want to, first things first, do a couple of straight runs with the path. Actually bring that down as well. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a decent bend in here. Do you know what? That works. That actually works. So just get a connection there, there, and there. Now this is also going to be quite difficult to try and implement. Get your connection there and there. So it might be a case of I do it like this. It's a bit funky, but it shall work. Uh, you're there. You're there. So can I simply 11... Wait, the connection's down here, isn't it? Right, that will work. And then we'll tear through this up to there. And that's our park. Beautiful! See, not too OTT. Should do exactly what we need it to do. So, right. The park stuff. Let me squeeze all this in. So, I'll probably only do one of each of these, maybe. And then just squeeze in a few more gazebos than like I normally do kind of really bulk it up um, get all the larger buildings in first and then bam 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 oh no I'll move that one in just a moment but you can already start to hear the dingling in upgrades right now which is really good all right let's move you to over this side now this gives us a value of ne nearly almost a thousand I might have to come back and add a little bit more to this area uh, so also, where's the schooling in this vicinity? There isn't. So again, I'm going to place down a couple of elementary schools. And we're well within capacity right now, by the way, as well. We're well within the capacity. Now, this is going to have to, unfortunately, slightly clip. I'll put it on this side. And that gives us the capacity. So it gives us the capacity all round for the schooling. Now, for the trees, mate, I'm going to add in the brushes for the trees what are these trees by the way are these the right trees oh no these are the trees when i did the uh oh damn it i've got the wrong trees in they're the trees when i did the little private island now i think it was the is it new brush no is it new brush zero no is it the ender brush ah it is i believe it is Right, fill that up slightly. There's a few little gaps here. I can squeeze more trees in. There we go. Yes. Right, you can clearly see that that is the right brush. And then do the same over here. So the power is only now just spreaded, but I don't think there's adequate power to be able to now handle all of this new building work on the current grid. Am I right in saying that? Yes. So we've currently got wind turbines, which aren't really the best. Uh... Oh, wait, how have I got minus 18,000? Do trees cost me money? How long do trees cost me money? I've always been that rich that I've never noticed. <laughs> right, I'm going to take the big boy loan out. This kind of gets back in the green for a minute. It won't last long, uh, our debt. Uh, but I do need to eventually connect this all up as well. So I might just run slightly down here a little bit. With some wind turbines keep it going it's not the best option for us but it should be adequate for now if we then fast forward to solve it eventually we'll get it all connected to the main system but this is how it will be for now 
So now the planes have even more area, surface area, to kind of um, fly over. So already this is making us a profit. You can see we're now up to 14,000 a week. I mean, it does fluctuate, don't get me wrong. But this should see... Oh, okay, it's going to be more, 1,600. That's what I like to see, boys. That's what I like to see. And the more visitors we get, the more we can charge the ticket price. Meaning the more money that we're then going to start to pretty much generate. So only really a one-star park at the moment. We need 500 visitors. And then we can then up the ticket price and charge a few extra pennies. Look at 2,100 right now. So our money is definitely going to be increasing. So a slight high-rise band. I'm happy with that size of apartment. If that's the biggest that they kind of grow to. And then we can create something really nice within this vicinity. So we only really have the one entry point at the moment. Uh, for all this. And the traffic's not too bad on it. I might have to eventually create an additional one here. Ooh, we'll see. We'll see how detrimental it does become. Uh, this little park over here right now. Up the ticket price for this. This is already making profit too. And already it's a level 2 park. So quicker than the other one. Which is completely understandable. Uh, but we can definitely charge more money for this. And we should definitely earn more money from the get-go. Because of the amount of people walking through it instantly. So we'll come back to that and see what kind of prices we're kind of getting up to. But yeah, it's slowly all coming together right now. It's We're slowly putting each piece of the jigsaw puzzle together to create beautifulness. <laughs> yes, very good, sir. Very good. So we got nearly 30,000 residents. Uh, not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Um... Now, I did mention that we do need to create a water treatment plant. And I was going to do this this episode, but I felt, I felt like that was going to cost me too much money. And I need more weekly revenue. So it was a good idea to get all this up and running first. But you can start to see our industrial demand now slowly increasing. So it might be a good idea to build a little bit of industrial around this area. It will be no good building around the airport because we don't really have a fully fledged connection to get them in and out. I might build something over in this area. Or kind of save it for over in this area. I don't know. Do we have a space over here for additional growth? I mean, saying that, right, I have no offices built yet, do I? No, I don't really have any offices currently built. So I could create like a little area just here for some offices. I know we've got this water treatment plant here. But I feel like I want to build eventually like a cleansing plant. Right, rural roads... And let's see if I can create first some roads that kind of cut through. So if that comes out by 20 by 20, could I get these? How far does that run down? So that road here could eventually hit on this. So if that's a 68, if I bring it to a 58, that could actually do a, a simple 10 by 10 bend. To kind of connect in as a, a slight through road. This one could just go straight up to the connection there. But then this is 20 away, which means that will be 20 away. Oh, and this one here. So I could get these two. Right, if I can sp <laughs> space that out correctly. I can get these two just here to run into there and there now the question is how far down do I take it so I could run this all the way down to to there which is a 58 so a 48 and then if I bring this to the same distance or do I that's a 61 do I go for a 51 just so I can keep them both to a 10 by 10 bend I don't know how I feel about that. That's a 10 by 8 though, isn't it? So you're going to be slightly off no matter what happens now. But the bend hopefully stays the same. Yeah, we can work with that. We definitely can work with that. So they're the roads that just run into this area. We still need to chop them up slightly. And we can utilize that by these criss roads. Criss, criss roads. Criss cross roads. So I'll end that there. We have this one that can kind of come up as well. 
And we should utilize a road that kind of comes in and goes down that way. But I think I'll just end it for there. Because in this area, we're going to try and build some offices, some, some industrial offices. Now, it won't be a huge kind of built-up area itself. I'm going to go up by another 10. Just go across just here. I can actually just connect into there. That's completely fine. Uh, and then utilize this stretch of uh, area to build offices. So this will be a way to satisfy that industrial demand and at the same time provide a lot more jobs. Is the unemployment rate low at this moment in time? It's 21%. <laughs> Holy smokes. Okay, that will sort us out there. But it does mean we have to bring public transport over here. Now, we currently have nothing. I mean, I can utilize buses. I can get a couple of... I can get this bus route. These three bus routes could meet in the middle. Because we have a subway stop there, metro stop there. Or I could make this come up to here, have a stop and go back down, but I feel like it's a little bit far-fetched. This here could have a stop, but it's too uncentralized. This could come down here and have a stop. That might be the better version to do it. So let me have, let me just take a quick look at a metro stop. Like maybe here. So if I did this instead, or... No, nah, we'll just do that simple stop there to bring the workers in. I'll do it like that. Right, and we'll delete all of this because we're going to reconfigure this line. I've got enough money to do this, right? Yeah. All right, there we go. So the underground metro line, we'll use the connection tool. It's the best way to do it. So it's going to take a slight detour to what it originally did, but it's going to pick up so many more passengers, which is going to be really important for us. So there to there. And then that then goes up to there. So is that all in order? So I could have it like this, just to shorten the route slightly. And then we'll just give it a minute for the game to update it and reroute itself using that new line. We need to be in power over here, which that will eventually connect to that wouldn't it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be able to do so. I need to grow and, like, touch it, connect it a bit more. I might just run this to here for now. Just to give it the power. And then we'll get these to now stop. So one there, one there. So they've got the stops. Oh, water. So that will provide a few more jobs and build up a little bit more of the industrial space. So that would do us just fine. So that would, like I said, that would do what it, what it needs to do. And I might slightly now reroute some of the buses to kind of be on the edge of the area to pick up a few more passengers. So where this comes into here, what I could do is then also make it have a stop let's say just there on the edge of the industrial area and then move this one just down to there to kind of give us that little bit of space between the stops as a way to pick a few more passengers up this one's going this way i don't know whether to do it on this one because that one will kind of pick up a lot anyway but this is quite the awkward stop here isn't it so that goes out there to go around and then in this way so if I move this stop to here, and then move this stop to there, goes that way. Because that's then got to come back down to go in to get back in, which is kind of awkward, but it's what it's going to do. It's just a couple of stops there to bring them to the main routes, even though this here, could, they could just jump on that to go over to there. It's just another way to kind of bulk up the line itself. They're not the best bus routes, but until I fully built the, the kind of the road layouts, you just got to do what you can, can kind of do, really. So by adding in the offices then, creating our little kind of... Um, what's the word? There's actually a word for it, isn't it? It's like a... Um, uh, when there's like a bunch of offices in like a certain park. I forgot what it's called. 
And it's it's the dumbest thing, because I know exactly what I'm trying to talk about right now, but I can't even think of the name of it. Uh, it's brought up the uh, unemployment down by 1%, but you need higher, higher educated people to work in offices. And that's the only downside to it. I could squeeze some industrial within this, but I feel like this is pushing it a bit too far with the current industrial that I've got. Uh, I could fill this section up here with the dirty industrial. Is that pushing it too far, you reckon? All right, if I delete that, does the power can Yeah, the power now connects, so I'm okay. But put some industrial just in there. And that's probably as far as you want to take it. But we are going to start needing to look towards some high-density commercial as well. Now, could that be squeezed within this vicinity because of the type of high-density buildings we've got here? What if I got rid of this and replaced it with high-density? But also extending and continuing on from my high-rise ban. Because you got to remember, it's under the flight, flight path. <laughs> So you can't have the buildings too big. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, they're complaining about not enough educated workers. So that's something that will just come with time. But also leads us on to... We are going to need to build... Well, want to build a university at some point. And that point is getting very, very close. It is getting very close right now. And I feel like this would be a good peninsula to build it on. Because we, we've got the metro running through it. We can have a metro stop. Oh, that would be really good to build it on that peninsula. Yeah. So is it bringing the unemployment down right now? No, it's actually it's gone up. <laughs> yeah. I can't provide enough jobs. Your boy can't provide enough jobs. But at the same time, we can also get some jobs from services. So we don't really have any more fire-related coverage within this area. So I think that would be a good idea to start to squeeze some in. So we got this little bit of an awkward dead spot uh, underneath the highway. We can drop a little fire station just there. So that will provide a bit more coverage for the general area. The next one's not till over there, so one within here would be a good idea. So I'm going to place that right on the crisscross road as well, another fire station. And do we have services over here? We have one over there. But it's not the dramatic coverage that we could probably want. So I'm going to build another firehouse. And we'll bring it up here. I'm just going to... I'm going to throw it in this area here. For, so if I squeeze it in just there, it gives a bit more fire coverage. They also provide jobs as well, which is important. Now, same thing for the police. And we we'll do it on the opposite side. We need more power, by the way. This is not cutting the mustard for us. This really is not cutting the mustard for us, is it? Now, these provide up to 20 megawatts. Those only provide 8. So why am I not using the wind? I mean, the sea wind. <laughs> you know what I mean? That should then give us up to 60 more megawatts for now. Until I do get them all connected. Right, police him. All good there. Uh, we need another one within this area. So I had that one just here. I'm going to probably squeeze this one then on the corner just there-ish. So spending quite a bit of money, but we are now starting to make quite a bit more money too. Uh, that in itself would have provided jobs. We're now down to 19%, which is pretty good. And expanding our coverage. So for a hospital then, there's one over there. Again, there's not really one with this area. Also the same with death care. So let's build an area here that would support a brand new hospital, which I feel like here is a good shout. So let's see. I want to kind of build it within this section here. So if I brought this road up by 15 and then do a 5 by 5 bend and then just kind of go straight in, right? We could then come off this road here with our hospital and then just here I could just come up here with a couple of crematoriums 
if I can afford. I can afford a better one here. There we go. Does that provide the coverage all over again? Run that right down for the water. Now, again, are the jobs decreasing? Yes, down to 16% unemployment. So that is working in our favor. And now we've got these services in. They'll upgrade the buildings around, thus taking them to the next level. And then, obviously, upgrading them as well. Now, why did I choose not to have a road coming down the middle in these? Because I've done it in all of these right now. I'm kind of losing out slightly, aren't I? Oh, it's because these are not perfectly spaced to the right length. Gotcha. Gotcha right now. But this is looking pretty good, isn't it, guys? Now, we do need the garbage coverage. We have no garbage needs taken care of in here. Someone mentioned, Jocinic, why don't you use the, uh, the kind of waste transfer facilities? And that's a good idea or a good kind of uh, question to why I don't use them. I don't know. I just feel like I'm just, I've been so used to not using them. It's a weird one. But at the same time, look at the traffic building up right now. It's the only in and out route in this area. So we are, I feel like I'm going to have to build another one here. And then when that's eventually connected up, that will cause, that kind of also ease the burden. But, uh, yeah. That ain't good to have this area and only this one highway connection. <laughs> is there also traffic lights here? I don't think there is, is there? No, we got rid of them. Yeah, we got rid of them. But, uh, yeah, we've got to sort that out next episode as well. We've got loads of things to get up and running too. But our little isolated kingdom is looking pretty damn good, if you ask me. It's looking pretty damn good. Still want to get the public transport connection set up, but that's what we can kind of look towards next episode. It's either that or I'm going to build a university. I'm still not 100% sure just yet. Either one of them, because if I build a university over here, I'm going to get this connected up and I might bring the roads in. We'll link another connection up as well. But only time will tell. Only time will tell. Now, unemployment down to 14%. Uh, highly educated is only 3%. So we need to push that in the right direction. We're just about within our uh, kind of capacity limits. Not so much the elementary, but we are with the high school. So education should slowly grow as well. But this isn't looking too shabby. It could be a lot better. But we can still work on this. We can still work on this. And I'm quite excited. Uh, we didn't... Did we ever, ever talk about the cargo line for the for the trains? I'm not too sure. Again, it's something that we do need to think about. But for now, guys, we will end it for here. I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I will see you all soon. So, good. Bye. <laughs>